102.7 KISS FM. It's time for Ryan's Roses. So, dear Ryan and Sissini, my husband misplaced his phone and was looking everywhere. I suggested using Find My Devices, and he did, and then it got weird. Let's bring up Christina now and Hi. learn a little bit more. Christina, thanks for coming on. So, when you say you used Find My Devices, what got weird? What happened? What turned at that point? Uh, well, as soon as he finally did it, he turned bright red and looked sort of shifty. And I was like, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I left it at work. It, there wasn't a sense of relief. It was more panic that he had found out that it was at work, which was weird to me. Uh-huh. Uh, and then he just took off when he should have, like, dinner was almost ready. So I don't know why he decided to just sort of. But where did it say? Go, you, could you see in the indicator where his phone was? Where did it say it located it? Oh, yeah. So when when he did that, I thought, well, I should check myself because that was weird. And when I checked, it was at some apartment on Avalon, which is in our community. But mm-hmm. I don't know anyone who lives there. OK, got it. And what has happened since all of that between the two of you? Well, I've just been feeling really super suspicious. I don't trust them anymore. He's become a little bit more closed off as well. Like it's things, it, things shifted that day. Okay. And you want a little more evidence, like for example, who might live at that apartment before you really confront him. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have my suspicions, like, but I don't have hard evidence other than how weird he was acting and the fact that what, why would his phone be at this random apartment building? Okay, hold on one second. We will make the call to Christina's husband and Carson next. It is Ryan's Roses. We're making the call now for Christina. Calling her husband. It's Ryan's Roses. Christina, you said you may have a hunch of whose apartment his phone was in when you used the Find My Device app. What name? Do you have a name of somebody? Well, I don't have a name, but I'm just assuming it's a woman that he's probably sleeping with. Okay. So you just have a hunch of that. No one specific. Okay, just want to see if we were looking no out for specific. a name specifically. Okay, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then your husband's name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. All right, we're going to call now and see what we can find out. So if you're just joining us, he misplaced his phone, and he was looking everywhere. Then they found the device at someone's apartment, and he got all weird about it. Mm. And she doesn't know whose apartment this was. Why was his phone left there? Obviously, she thinks the worst. So that's why we're here. Let's see what we can find out. Christina, be very quiet. We're going to put him up here now, okay? Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Javi? Uh, yes. Hi, Javi. My name is Fiona. I'm calling from the Perfect Bloom. How are you doing this morning? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Just working hard. Good. Well, you know, yeah, we actually service the Carson and South Bay area uh, with deliveries, and we're offering local residents today a promotion. It's actually a dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you like. They are free, absolutely free. I don't need anything from you. Just the name of the person that you want to send them to. Uh, is, really? Is this a scam? No. What else? My car warranty is about to expire? No, sir. We're offering local residents this promotion. It's something we do about once a month, and we just hope that if you like our flower arrangements, then you come back as a returning customer. Uh, People don't usually just call and offer me free stuff. Well, it's your lucky day. (sighs) Well, I feel like I'm going to regret this, but the timing is actually pretty good. Um, You can send them to my wife, Christina. Okay, and what would you like to put on the card? Um, thanks for, uh, thanks for being the best wife in the whole world. Thanks for being the best wife in the whole world. Javi? Uh, yes. Javi, your voice being broadcast on the radio. Uh, I have your wife, Christina, on the line. Thank you for staying on for a second. I'm going to tell you why we're calling. So you just were saying that the timing was pretty good to send these roses to your wife. Why did you say that? I knew this was way too good to be true. Well, she's my wife. I love her. But why was this timing so perfect? You know, I just just really think about her a lot. 
she's she's the one that's always in in my mind. But okay, so Javi, Christina, your wife is on the line, and I guess I'll just ask you. She told us about you misplacing your phone at someone's apartment. Whose apartment was your phone left in? Uh, whoa, 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 wait, what? This your phone was lost, and it was in an apartment. Whose apartment was that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Christina, do you want to tell him more? Yeah, Javi, who lives on Avalon? I, I don't know. I don't know what, what you're referring to. Okay, okay. yeah, remember last week when you lost, lost your phone? And we checked, well, you checked, find my iPhone. Well, after you left, all freaked out, I checked as well, and I saw that it had been left on Avalon. And I've been sick to my stomach ever since. I just want to know, who is she? Listen, honey, 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 no, no, no. Uh, I'm not even sure what you're referring to. I think you're confused. You're, you're confusing yourself. Okay? I went to go get my phone mm-hmm. and my job. Guys, he's gaslighting. That your job is your job now on Avalon. I just just tell me who Bobby, who she yeah. is. I who who were you with? Why did you leave your phone? And I, who was it? I don't know who you're talking about. What is this Avalon? I went to get my phone at my office. Sweetie, sweetie, I drove by and saw your car there. Okay, Javi, I know you were there. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. So you, you were spying on me? You, you did? Okay, oh, look, look. Don't turn this around on me. You left your phone at some random address. You acted weird, so I went and I followed you. I, look, I've been feeling neglected lately, okay? What? You have to. I didn't see your car there. I was, I was just saying that. So you did go there. No, look, so you were just lying. It, it, you were lying about going to work. You weren't paying attention to me. You have not been paying attention to me. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I know. Wow. Okay, so my you put me on the okay. radio and you, know you lied to me. Okay, go to. You know what? Why don't you come home? Tell Levi why you are not living with mommy and uh, Levi anymore. Okay, first of all, because mommy first, was neglecting well, daddy. I never said I was having an affair. Okay. Well, and why don't I we just cut to this, Avi? What's don't... going on? Please save some time here. What is happening? Look, it's, it's, it's yeah. not okay that you're using you're using our son against me. That is no. not okay. Okay, you're bringing up this whole thing about child divorce. It's like what's going on right now? Look, I never said I was gonna, I was doing these things. I was being having an affair or anything. Okay, and no one oh, said okay. anything so about you did, divorce. You also, said that, you also said that you were going to work to pick I'm up your phone. Up. So what am I supposed to, to believe? Like this, okay? Javi, are you cheating on your wife? Javi, are you cheating on your wife? Javi, are you cheating on your wife? I'm, just, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. So that's yes. So you're not you're not yeah. saying no, Javi. You're not yeah. saying no. You're not denying it. Yeah. I can't do this. Look, look, I, I can't do this. I'm done. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, poor victim. There he is. Poor victim. He's gone. Mm, hung up. Oh, no. Well, look, Christina, something's going on there. You've got the phone. He didn't Obviously. say, of course not. No, no, I mean, he didn't really go there. So we're going to let you go to follow up and wish you... Good luck. I'm sorry in that situation. Thank you. All right, Christina. Thank you very much. All right. So let's go back to Ryan's Roses. Christina and Javi, they're married. He left his phone at some apartment. She doesn't know whose apartment it was. She thinks it's another woman's place. He was skeptical from the beginning about the Roses call. He, it didn't have a lot of validity to me in the things he was saying. And he didn't really hard deny that he, when I said, are you cheating? He just said, I got to hang up. Were you cheating? I got to hang up. Mm-hmm. Even say, guys, I just want to say no, no, no. You know, no, he couldn't answer the question. Simple. Couldn't no. answer the question. He could not answer it. Thank you. Now, the other thing that happened, and maybe we just talk about this because I think he's doing something wrong, but maybe that's not even what we talk about here. Gaslighting. I finally know what it yeah, means. I know what it is. It. And it was a textbook case. Proud of you. He's like, you're probably confusing things. You, uh, no, I. she checked Ew. find my devices, and it was in an apartment on Avalon, this street. I don't yeah. know. But she, she found it in someone's home. He's like, no, it's in my office. And then he tries to say, no, honey, you're confused. No, honey, you're confused. Ew, ew, double ew. Right? And he said, I can't talk to you when you're like this. That's all gaslight. Oh, my God. And you know what else that is? 
Narcissism. Yes, Sissy, you got it. But you like narcissism, Ooh. Tanya. No, I don't. I thought you said it was attractive. No, 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 no. There's a fine line because narcissists can be... <laughs> I'm narcissists so confused. Are, narcissists are very charming people. So they come off very charming and personable and they lure you in. But really, it's really dark once you get to know them. Do so not you're saying be a narcissist. don't be confused by narcissists charm yes. that turns dark once you get in. Exactly. Bingo, Ryan. You got it. Yowza. I don't want to leave the house. <laughs> this, is, this is rough out there. Yeah, it's rough. Uh-uh. But pure gaslighting. And, and she's seeing right. Good news is she's seeing right through all of this. I think she knows that there's something really, really going on there with Javi. Not a lot of love there on either side. No. You know, at that point, the love is clearly, the seems like the love is gone. The passion is gone. He's gaslighting. There's a child involved, we heard. But what do you do? Do you just, do you, is it better and healthier to get out? Or what do you do for the child's sake? That's a really tough intersection. Look, you the child. It's not good for the child to grow up in that environment, anyways. So 